Hey, I've got a question for you. Which one of these shapes doesn't belong? Is it this one? Is it this one? Or is it this one? You'll find out straight after the intro. Hi, my name's Tom Moore and I'm a maths teacher. Now, I strongly believe that when we're working with our students, that it's important to not only focus on the skill drill types of activities, but also to develop a passion for working mathematically within our students. And this activity is a brilliant activity for doing just that. Were you able to figure out which one didn't belong before? Well, let's have a look at it. Maybe you said it was this shape here, because as you can see, this shape is made up of all different colors, whereas the other two are just the one color. Or maybe you said it was this shape here, because as you can see here, each one has four in a row, whereas this one, the most it has is three in a row. Or maybe you recognize that this shape here doesn't belong as well. And that is because when you fold these ones up, you can make a cube. Whereas when you fold this one up, it in fact doesn't make a cube because these two pieces overlap. It's at this point where I'll send students off to try and figure out how many cube nets they can make. Now I'll let them go for about five minutes before I tell them anything else, just to get them started and to get them having a feel for the activity. After five minutes, I'll get their attention and we'll focus in on just a couple of key areas. The first thing is to get them to have a look at the nets they've created and to see if there are any double ups. Initially, this isn't exactly apparent to all students, but with a bit of discussion, they can generally see where the double ups exist. For example, they might look at this one here and not recognize that it in fact is exactly the same cube net as that one there. Just as this one is exactly the same cube net as that one there, it's just been reflected. This is a great way to reinforce some of the mathematical language that is inherent within this task. The other thing that I'll focus in on is getting students to record their answers as they do their working out. Many students like to try and do as much as they possibly can in their head, but in fact, a really important part of working mathematically is to record your answers. Not necessarily so that you know what you've done, but so other people can see what you've done and learn from that too. But in this case, it does help you to keep track of what you have created so that you don't create it again. I'll show you what I mean. Some students may want to record it like this. For example, this one that you can see above may be drawn out like this. And then of course we have these ones here as well. Now as students go through and create more and more of these, they'll actually see the importance of recording their work as they go because they will start to forget the shapes that they've created in the past and if they're actually the same as the ones that they're creating now. You can see by giving the students the problem of trying to figure out how many different solutions there are, this really opens up the task to make it something quite engaging and something quite challenging for them to go and explore. It also inherently opens up the task and gets students to really practice working mathematically. That is by recording their results and trying to work through different answers systematically. Eventually students will be able to determine how many different ways you can make up a cube using these six pieces. And if you're not sure, you could possibly join your students in the learning journey and explore the problem with them too. So as you can see, this activity is a lot more engaging and challenging for students than simply giving them a net of a shape and saying, what 3D shape will it make? It really gets students to think deeply about what they're doing and explore a whole range of different mathematical ideas and concepts when exploring this problem. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and also share it with your colleagues. My name's Tom Moore, we'll see you next time.